Hello, hello, this is Dilliard speaking from the Open Wardrobe Gang and welcome to yet another episode of our blind playthrough of The Evil Within The Assignment. I'm finally back from my trip, I'm finally back from vacation, so that's cool. Um, shoutouts to all of my uh, enjoyers of uh, Portugal in the audience, the place truly is beautiful um, and especially good weather for an early April. With that uh, out of the way, um, it's been a while since I've played, it's been a while since I've played, I might be a little bit rusty. I think it's been almost two weeks since I've played the game for the very last time, the last two or three episodes were pre-recorded so that I can, um, you know, so that I could go on that uh, cool ass uh, trip. But fret not, I am uh, kept up with the plot uh, of the game, I've watched my own um, YouTube uploads, so I remember how in the last episode we uh, finished up uh, chapter one an oath we um we managed to run away from the evil nurse lady um you know from that a uh, hellish cursed uh, boss battle um we yeah we we finished up the chapter and let's hopefully get reunited with sebastian and joseph uh, for uh, a little more time uh, than like five seconds it tops um yeah a small psa also before we jump into chapter uh, two um, crossing paths i do have a little bit of a sore throat but i really wanted to uh, jump in and record an episode for you guys finally get back into the game so to speak um so if my voice cracks or i sound any different then please bear with me yeah without further ado let's let's jump right into it shall we yes i do want to load let's go let's hope for no more evil nurse lady Chapter 2, please deliver. Please. <laughs> yeah, the last scene was... Us being saved from the water prison and being dropped Jackson. down to this basement. Jackson. Yeah. I remember the scene from the base game. Crossing paths. Well, he'll just have to fend for himself. Gotta keep on track. Find Leslie. Okay, let me see the controls, do I remember? Yeah, that's crouching, that's sprinting, yeah, the three seconds of that we have, and that's the... Oh. How do you aim? Oh, here it is. Okay, I think I'm caught up, we are good to go. Um, we do find ourselves in quite a predicament. I guess we will not be reunited with Joseph just yet. I think we will have to uh, use this to get out of here. Nicely done, Kidman. Did you have this power all along, is my question. Would have been really useful to, to Sebastian in the base game, definitely. Well, let's go. Okay, okay. Let's find Joseph. I, I mean, now that I say that, I totally recall now Kidman allegedly calling, uh, not calling, allegedly killing Joseph in the base game, and I instantly got angry because of that. But I have yet to see the dead body of Joseph, so I am totally not believing any of that up until it is 100% confirmed. Let's hope we can, like, change, um, you know, <laughs> change history in this very DLC and not shoot Joseph to the death. Oh. His name was Ruben Victoriano, but now he exists as Ruben inside the encephalon of Sten. Ruben was brilliant, designing the entirety of the system but we conflicted over our intentions. And what happened? Okay. Ruben has been dealt with. The consequences of trusting the wrong people. Goddamn Ru Ruvik having beef with Ruvik. everyone. He knows I'm here. 
Yeah, definitely. I made that observation at the end of the last episode. Uh, Rufik was definitely very much buddy buddy uh, with Kidman, um, and he engaged in a conversation, even. Something uh, Sebastian had to work very hard for, I have to say. Things could have played out for for Ruvik, but well, sucks to suck. Guy got disposed of by the protagonist. Can we like um, climb onto that railing? Oh, oh no! I'm smashing the A button. Like you should be smashing the like button, but I cannot do it for the life of me. Let's go. Let's continue forward. Okay, lovely. <gasps> Holy shit, is that a melee weapon? Oh wow. First of all, Holy shit, is that a weapon? Finally, my prayers have been answered. And second of all, is that the invisible enemy that we've encountered we've encountered at the beginning of the base game? Are are these them? And we are we can totally see them with the use of the flashlight. That's awesome. Uh, please leave. Yeah, go away. I'm taking the hatchet and murdering you, sir. Sneak kills. Alright, let's go, let's go. This is what I've been asking for. Sneak kill while sneaking. Instantly kill an enemy with an axe. Axe is just consumed upon use. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I totally thought we would have like an axe for good with us. Using the axe instantly kills enemies who are unaware of you from behind. Sneak kill does not work on some enemies. So lovely. lovely. Maybe I should keep it. No, I want to see how this me mechanic works, you know. Where is the guy? Okay, somewhere here. Oh, let's go. Amazing. These totally seem like the enemies from the base game from chapter three or four. What is this? Item acquired. You've unlocked a new music track. You can listen to it in the soundtrack player from the assignment title menu. Okay. Was not aware. You can find collectibles such as these. I've totally heard another guy somewhere around here. Maybe he's on the other side of this rubble, you know? Okay, let's move forward. Ah, oh, I got so excited for the axe, God damn it! I, I thought we would be using it, like, all the time, you know? We'd be provided with, like, an, a weapon, finally. Yeah, I hear you guys, but, like... More stealth. Oh yeah, I can see them back in the uh, in the distance there. How do I approach this? Holy shit. I can totally hear the guy. I can totally hear the guy, and, and I'm kind of screwed, right? 
Th this is what I've been saying. This is what I've been saying. I want a freaking gun. I want a freaking gun so I can deal with these guys. Someone's like right next to me. I'm hearing loud noises. Loud freaking move footsteps. This is kind of creepy. I'll give it to the game. Giving credit where credit is due. This is very well made. I just want to have a proper weapon. Okay, I see the guy. I see the guy. He's there. I definitely want to dispose of him. I do wonder. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Will he turn the corner? No, he won't. Let's get rid of him. The axe was specifically placed here to, to get rid of this guy. Nice. Nice. All right. All right. See? I, I, I can defend myself, I can, you know, clear my way forward. I do like this, I do like this. This is the, the type of stuff I do like. Oh shit, there's another one, huh? Right behind these doors. Maybe I shouldn't have used the thing. Okay, I'm opening it. This is making a ridiculous amount of noise, but I guess that the mobs don't mind. Do I dare walk into this room? What might we find there? Is, it, is it there like... Could I be provided with another, another axe? trying to look inside. I'm also not hearing the enemy anymore. Let, let's try it. I might die for doing this. I, I don't see anyone. Okay, this is good. What the fuck? Okay, I'm I, I'm hearing the freaking footsteps everywhere, but I'm not seeing the guy. Is there anything here? Oh, a tape. Let's go. Lord Dumb. Something else is even more harrowing. Our subjects are dying. They come out from stem abruptly passing with looks of horror in their eyes. The ones that do survive are catatonic babbling incoherent messes that we can't properly interview i mean i would also go insane after having this to endure it like the hours of vr content the stem system these patients seem unable to take the strain of exposure we need more sane subjects perhaps to cleanse the system <laughs> at its current state the system is unsustainable something mobius will not approve of this time, only I am to blame for this. This is funny, I have to Our say. Our prototype and beacon is almost ready. When it is, I will start its conversion to the wireless system. Even if the original STEM experiments go awry, I will show my worth to Mobius with its next generation. I do find it kind of funny that they started testing of the STEM system of, uh, you know, mentally unstable patients and because of it, it got corrupted. This is... 
this was not well thought out, Dr. Jimenez. What did you think was going to happen? You can totally hide here. From what? I don't know. Is there anyone else in the vicinity? Doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, we are good to go. Give me a checkpoint game. I know you want to. I need it. Okay. A, a, a box that I could have interacted with. That, that is a, a new thing for this DLC. In the base game, we could, like, find resources in there. So, does that possibly mean that we will find a gun soon? Hype? Please? I, I can only pray for so long, game. Better provide me. Yeah, another... Another one of the boxes. Another one of the boxes. Will there be anything inside? Hmm, no. As of now, nothing. Yeah, these ones held like ammunition and maybe syringes even, but these things are, as of now, still not present here. No, oh, of, of course. Oh, of, of course. She's back, guys. She's back. She's not done. Um, messing me up. You will not. You will not be provided with Leslie. Freaking monstrosity! God damn it! God damn it! It's all coming back. The the <laughs> the freaking the memories of me dying repeatedly in the boss fight. I'm afraid. Let's get out of here as fast as humanly possible. Okay, there's a checkpoint. Kidman is brave. I will give it to her. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, I'm beautiful. You again. Oh, so soon. Oh, okay, we, we have to get out of the rubble, huh? You have to hurry up, Kidman. You have to hurry up. Oh, and her light changes the bodies into the... <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. Give it to me. Give it to me. Extend your reach, Kidman. We are doing it. Nice. Oh. oh, shit. Reload, reload. Okay, reloading again. I already like this sequence. Very tense, very cool. That is awesome. Okay, okay, what else? What else is in store for us, huh? Freaking reloading like a madman. I'm, I'm blasting, I'm blasting. Okay, anything else? There's even more, huh? Reloading after every shot. You no. Yes. Yes. Fuck you. No. Uh oh. Oh, now we are out of ammo. Awesome. This is what I was asking for in the very last chapter. That's how we deal with those. 
What a carnage. Imagine if this happened. down here, I doubt he'll last long. I've got to find him. Uh, pull out the gun, Kizman. Pull out the fucking gun. It's not over. It's not over. What a carnage. Imagine this happens in the base game. There would be so much jelly and ammo lying around here waiting to be pick picked up. Awesome sequence. Apparently, the freaking evil nurse lady has the ability to uh, change the dead bodies or the patients into the, the, the freaking... Um, exploding the, the exploding bugs that's cool she also seems to be kind of uh you know prone to getting hit by bullets it, it you know i needed to shoot her just twice um to 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 freaking you know scare her away so let's hope that we find more ammo and put an end to the life of that particular enemy also what a cool sequence in general um, what a cool sequence in general. I very much liked it. I liked how you had to, you know, shoot those guys and they exploded. They would create, it would create a chain a reaction that would kill, um, you know, more than one enemy. Very cool. Very cool. That's totally what I wanted to do in that uh, server room <laughs> at the end of chapter one, but uh, I was not given the chance, huh? But the, the game is graciously providing me with, like, weapons, uh, you know, right now, so that's, that's good. Shit. And about the others. I told you before, completely expendable. They have no bearing on the mission. If they get in the way, you know what to do. Interesting. I believe I saw, like, a ladder over here. Also interesting, if they get into the way you know w uh, what to do, I believe Kidment wasn't really... Which way is the correct way forward? No idea. Oh, there's a safe. Awesome. Let me gather my thoughts. That's uh, interesting that they reiterate that the, um, the detectives, Joseph and Sebastian and Cannelly, Rip Cannelly, are disposable because... Kidman never really, never really, you know, heard them directly, in a way. She was really after her orders, but it never felt like she was ready to just dispose of Sebastian and Joseph. So I guess some good is uh, still, um, you know, inside of her, ba basically. So that's good. She was given orders to, you know, dispose of them immediately if they pose, um, you know, a threat or they try to um, mess up her mission. But, you know, Sebastian messed up her mission, I believe, on multiple occasions and she didn't, um, you know, hit him whatsoever. I mean, she didn't hurt him whatsoever. So points, points for Kidman. Okay. All right, now a combination for the safe. Where do we get it? Where do we get it? Where's the combination? God damn it. Um. Huh. It's just one dial. There's just oh, did I see something? Oh, five, sixteen, three. Wait. Wait a minute. Okay, there is something in here. Let's look around a little bit more. I really do like how the game um, incorporates this freaking flashlight mechanic into these uh, mini puzzles. I, I do enjoy this. That, um, that the flashlight is like a big part of the gameplay. Mm, okay, 3 to the right, 16 to the left, and 5 to the right. Does it mean um, if we go from 0, 0 being the starting point, it's like 13, it's 3, now it's 13 to the left, and it's... Mm, it's 13 to the left, it's like 8 to the left. Are we supposed to turn it 8 to the left, or are we to follow this particular combination? Let's see. Let's see. 8 to the left is the first, the first thing. 
Wait a minute. Okay, that's that might not be it. Okay, that's also not it. Um, okay, five to the. Wait a minute. Oh, what was it? I'm not making sense of it. Uh, three to the right, sixteen to the left, and five to the right. Um, three, sixteen, and five. Three, sixteen, and five. Okay, that was freaking it. <laughs> what do you want? What? Huh. How about... Okay, nothing happens. I am not entirely sure. Huh? Three to the right, sixteen to the left, and five to the right. What am I? What am I missing? What am I doing wrong? I think like I've all I've almost figured it out at this point. The hard part was finding that combination and not opening the safe, right, guys? <laughs> Three, sixteen, and five. But there is just one dial. Huh? I'm not getting it. I, I I am not getting what I'm supposed to be doing. It resets after you exit it every single time. It goes back to zero. Am I like not doing it properly? Three to the right. Or maybe it's like I, I should be putting three different combinations. Um... I should be putting three different combinations on separate occasions, like three to the right, reset, 16 to the left, reset, and five to the right, reset. Let, let's try it, I guess. It's so hard. Okay, that didn't work, but I might have uh, done it in the incorrect order. Or in the incorrect way. Huh, okay. No, it just resets. Wait a minute. How about this? What about... Wait a minute, what, what, what was my uh, new theory about this whole thing? Huh. Maybe I am... Maybe I should get to three by turning the dial to the right then i should get to 16 by turning it to the left and then to get to the five by turning it to the right again maybe it's not about the number of turns that you are supposed to do but the direction and the number three to the right 16 to the left okay so like not not like this one two three now we are going to 16 And now we are going to five.
there you go that was insanely difficult for no reason whatsoever i just made it difficult on myself <laughs> <laughs> That's the ugly truth. I made it difficult on myself. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, leather scrap. Let's move this to the left a little bit. Yeah, over here. That seems right. That seems correct. Now, this, this stuff. I'm rotating this like, I think, like this. Okay, let's place it properly. A little bit to the right, a little bit, just a tiny bit. Okay, I can't do it a tiny bit. Okay. I I still can't read it. Could you, like, zoom it in a little bit for me, for my old eyes? I, I still can't read it. Okay, but we got it. We got the scrap. We opened up another save. Um, uh, another save. Uh, five out of five at this point, I believe. So that's good. Looking forward to the next one when I'm stuck on the next one. <laughs> okay, give me a save uh, file so I don't have to do it again. Where is the cute little uh, black kitty and the, the couch? <laughs> ask, ask and you shall receive. Perfect. Okay, this is going smooth, uh, smoothly today. I have to say, what are you doing here, little kitty, in this freaking sewer? Um, crossing paths. I can only assume that the title of the, the chapter refers to us crossing paths with joseph and sebastian or maybe possibly ruvik um i can't really think of other characters at play at this point sorry kitty we have to go we have to go i'm sorry you chill out here here on the couch when it's where it's uh, you know comfy truly i'm interested in this room oh I guess that's it. Let's hope there was nothing else in that room because I totally... Totally locked myself out of that. Yeah, I'm not that afraid of the nurse anymore. Maybe that's a dumb thing to say, but... But let me find some freaking ammo and I will light her up. I can see something on the other side there and also here oh we are powering on a generator huh this is a oh shit Kidman. Joseph, <gasps> of course this is a, a a a horror game classic i think Lovely, lovely. What are we doing here? Can I interact with this? No. Okay. Take the junction box fuse, a high voltage fuse from a junction box. It is still intact and can be used again. Okay, yeah. What do we have here? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe we are missing like um, two more in order to power this whole thing up. Oh yeah, totally. The one that we've uh, got is right here. Or are we missing three? Not sure. Not sure what to make of this just yet. Okay, let's go towards scary noises. That's a great idea. I can't jump over this. Oh no, going to the ground floor, huh? This will not end well. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. 
No gun on the hotbar also, on the D-pad. Okay, where do we go? Where do we freaking go? Can I jump over this? No. Great, I'm already stuck. <laughs> what am I looking for? Exactly. Oh, I'm great at this. I'm great at getting stuck. Okay, the door is there. A door is there on the other side. Can I really not make this? Can I... No, I can't. Cannot jump over that one. Mm hmm? Let's go back a bit. Oh, what is this? Can I crawl into this space? No, I can't. I'm missing something obvious. Okay, another door. And another door. Okay, what am I missing? Please enlighten me. Maybe this now opens up? Oh, or, or maybe I should be using this. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we have to use the one that we already have in order to access some of these rooms. That makes sense. All right. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it was not my brightest moment. Let's... Uh... Let's keep it real. <laughs> All right. I need just another junction box. How hard do we, will I will the game make me work for it? Is the question. Okay, this is, this is spooky. Okay, a freaking pipe over here. Is this the way forward? Maybe, let's, let, let's check the other side though. Uh, a valve and a door? Okay, we got a checkpoint. I, I guess I will check that pipe. What might be down uh, down there? This might be just like a collectible, so I want to see. Or is this like the intended way forward also? Where are you taking me? Oh, okay, another safe room. Oh, th th this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. What type of uh, uh, save is this? Okay, the buttons that light up the thing. Um, okay. Oh, 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 oh. I, I can see, I can see. I can see something like this. Is this what I'm seeing? Yes. Something like this. There you go. This one was uh, <laughs> less challenging than the last one. The last one was ridiculous. <laughs> Letter scrap number six. Let's place it. Just, just two more to go. Okay, maybe this is like a little bit indicative of how long this uh, DLC is. Is there like just two chapters? 
let me think about this. We got this one in this episode. I guess we got five in the previous in the previous chapter. Would that mean we got five in the previous chapter? Yeah, this was the first one, I believe. I mean, this might not be a confirmation, considering the length of the DLC. Having like two chapters is a little bit weird. I would say three chapters is the sweet spot, right? Um, similar to like how a movies are constructed and stories, right? You have the introduction, the main uh, part of the thing, and the culmination, the conclusion. So I, I guess having two chapters would be a little bit weird, but maybe, maybe that's the case. All right, put that bad boy in. Okay, good thing that we went back for this. This would have been devastating, you know. Realizing at the end of this whole DLC that we've left that one pipe unchecked. And that's where the scrap number six was. I would have... Th that would definitely piss me off. <laughs> okay, Kidman. Let's work it. Let's work our magic. The game is like, don't touch this. Can I do something with this? Still no ammo. Many distractible boxes, though. Hmm. This ain't good. The zombies are munching on the dead. Okay, what the hell is this? Oh, it's you. I remember you. I I, I guess more of you. This totally reminds me of this um one um one room in the underground facility um right after the cemetery yeah the catacombs right after the catacombs and right before like that wolf, um, wolf boss fight uh, there was like a room with you know spines in uh, tanks that totally reminds me of that. Hopefully we don't have to fight any of those. Joseph, not Joseph, Sebastian is like a pro of killing those, but like Kidman has like a flashlight and no ammo for her handgun. So, you know, that's a high task to expect her to kill one of those. Okay, I, I totally saw something over here. I wanted to see also what the other path had to offer. I don't like this. Uh, the, the way the layout is, is constructed here, it makes me think that we will be going up against enemies pretty soon. Okay, anything noteworthy? No. No is the question, uh, the answer. Okay, let's just hope the, the, the developers are trolling us with these. Okay. Progress. Let's go. Got a checkpoint and we powered something off, but that might mean we are in for trouble. No. Yeah, what if we power, we totally power off the defenses of this thing and these enemies, they run at us. Hopefully that's not the case. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, okay, I, I, I'm not even... 
<laughs> I wanted to say I'm not even looking back, I'm smashing the A button <laughs> and getting out as as quickly as possible. Well, um, it seems we'll have to lure that guy away a little bit. I guess this is why we're provided with this, right? Maybe we lure the, the, the enemy over here and then we squeeze through and then make a run for it. Is this how it's supposed to be approached? Which one? Which one of you fuckers is the troll? Ah shit! Let's let's go in. Let's hide. Where is he? Here he is. Okay. Okay. Maybe that's how you do it. He's not aware. XD. Uh oh. Uh oh. I, 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 once again, I'm not looking back. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, once again, I did not look back, and uh, surprise, surprise, he caught up to me. Question mark? Were we supposed to once again hide? Was there like a hiding spot in that room? I'm trying to recall, and I don't remember. Like, Okay, let's, let's let's try it again, right? This is fine. Come here. Yeah, here he is. Here he is. He left the last time. Could you kindly... Could you... Maybe I was too fast and he did not notice me? Yeah, just go left, bro. What's the issue? What does what troll? What the troll? Come here, bro. I know you want a piece of this. Okay, this was a... Was this a mistake or was it not a mistake? All right, I'm 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 start I'm trying to think of a strategy here. He doesn't seem. Yes, yes. Please come here. Come here, boy. Okay. He's. Uh, Preoccupied with the stuff now this room and now what wait no no that doesn't make sense okay maybe I hide oh shit okay I, I think I know okay now let's do it one more time, you idiot. Let's do it one more time. Y 
Yes, yes, like this. Go, go, go. Now we smash the A button. Like you should be smashing the like button. This is a shameless plug, by the way. Come on, Kidman. Yes, yes, let's go. Oh my god, my heart was racing. Right there. Oh. We freaking made it. We freaking made it. I'm a genius. I figured it out. I mean, I guess you don't need a... <laughs> I guess you don't need a genius to figure this one out. It wasn't... <laughs> you don't need a Sherlock Holmes to figure this one out, but uh, it was still uh, stressful. So funny that you had to, like, lure him once again, you know? Actually, the, the developers intended for me to use the ring around the rosy tactic in that room. Let's go, another checkpoint, that's what I love. Okay. Alright, we are going in. I guess we are going in. My, my voice just cracked, I believe. Let me hydrate. Okay, let's go. We found two out of three, so, you know, progress is being made, it has to be stated. I do like this uh, this section of the game. It, definitely the highlight of the episode so far was that uh, action sequence at the beginning, that's exactly what I wanted to see from the game. After the long and drawn out uh, stealth of chapter one. But these these ones are also cool. Oh, I can I can I can smell a trap from a mile away. Okay. And this room is question mark. Once again, there's like a locker. So it it, it is a reasonable assumption. To say that there are enemies in the vicinity. Who are we fighting this time, though? Okay, freaking locked. Rude. Broken glass. Man, you better avoid that. Oh, all right. We are picking. We are picking it up. That's like the easy part, I believe. the The path backwards may be a problem, though. It may be a problem. Okay, but surprisingly, no one showed up. course oh this is scary will will the nurse lady make a an appearance oh fuck Ah. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. It's not the scary nurse lady. It's actually just one zombie. I mean, this one zombie may... Might as well... Might as well change into five zombies in a minute, but for now... Maybe let's lure him? Yeah. 
Yeah, come here, boy. Nice. Nicely done. Good that those uh, spikes got triggered so easily. All right. Is that it? I don't believe this. I hear more. Oh, of course. Lovely. Lovely. How do I approach this? I'm, I'm, I'm sneaking, I'm sneaking. I'm very sneaky. Okay, he triggered a trap, but that's amazing. She is, on the other hand, not really interested in triggering a trap of her own. How about we lure her in? That's a mechanic after all, right? Over here. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh oh shit. Kidman, I don't know what we are doing. Uh oh. Oh that's not good. Oh that's not good. How do we deal with this situation? Maybe this room is the way. Okay, let's hide. Let's hide. Let's hi let's hide and think about it. This was oh, oh my god. Very spooky. Don't come in. Don't come in. Okay. I I, I got spooked. I, I totally thought she would trigger the trap once again, but she was not into that at all. The, the, the trap seems to be one-time use. I'd really want to find a bottle, though, so I can, you know, lure her away. This is a perfect, a, a perfect place to find a bottle, I think. Mm. Looking at my surroundings, but I don't see a bottle. Okay, there is something on the other side here. I totally missed this. Um, why would I be provided with this? Is this like a safe spot? <sighs> Maybe I, I, I like lure her. Can I lure her from here? No, I, I don't think I can. But what if I lure her from here and then I make a run for it, I hide and she runs to the other room. Is that a possibility? Hey! Um, she didn't buy it. She did not hear me. Whatsoever. I, I swear this is a perfect place to get a get a bottle. Are there no bottles here?
No, 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 no need, no need to check this place out, lady. No need to get violent. Just go back to what you were doing earlier. I mean, maybe it's just, oh, maybe I just have to like walk past her. I, I, I don't know. I, she, she has like an eagle freaking eye on her. What the hell? This is like the smartest enemy in the freaking game. The best eyesight in the stem system. <laughs> okay, let's wait for her to fully pass now. She still walks forward, right? No, she doesn't. Why? Oh, easy, easy peasy. I, I, I guess that's it. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Holy shit, that was. Oh my god! No! No, 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 no. No time to think about this. We running. We. We run. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> I got dropped, ki drop kicked by that zombie. No time to think or say what you what you, what you think or no time to voice your thoughts we are running instantly get me out is this it oh fuck oh fuck is this guy after me still no he totally fucked off Holy hell. Okay, so there was like a, 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 a runaway from the zombie sequence at the end of that. Was not was not expecting that. Okay, let's freaking go. We got all of the things. Amazing. Master, master, gameplay master over here. Let's go. Open it up. Joseph, show your beautiful face to us. I, I, I have to say, I kind of liked all of that. I kind of liked all of that. There were like, you know, bits and pieces you had to do a little bit different things in different rooms with every single one, with every single, you know, box, uh, electrical box. You were provided with a save file, and even though we are, you know, running through the same environment um, all the time, it feels a little bit, right? We are in the same room still. It feels like we were making progress. I do like that. Let's move forward. Let's go. Where are you, Joseph? Please tell me you waited for me. I don't want to be now presented with, like, the scary nurse boss. <laughs> That's impossible, right? After all of that hard work, I have to be rewarded with seeing Joseph. This is the only logical conclusion I can draw. Okay. Today was something truly surprising. He was one of the last groups of test subjects. Just another patient I expected to babble and maybe even die. Patient 105, Leslie Withers. The man, the myth, Robin the legend. Him out as a useless subject, but he must have known. He knew I would read his notes. What else was Reuben lying to me about? But this Leslie, he emerged cognizant calm and able to report fully what he had experienced inside. His unique pathology allowed him to successfully navigate his STEM experience with little repercussion. They know nothing of his existence, but no doubt he is the okay. key. If we all share the consciousness, then with him, I too should be able to experience the STEM, potentially even suppress the more unsavory aspects of it. 
With him, I can be the master of the very technology I helped create. Mobius will see my word and let me rise even higher in their ranks. Gr power greedy bastard, I have to say. But this is uh, this is a little bit surprising in my book. Is are we talking about the same Leslie Withers? You mean he was cognant, calm, and he was fully reporting what he had experienced inside? Are, is that the same person? It doesn't seem and sound like our old trusty Leslie, who was meek and very scared at every single, you know, instance when we see him in the Basil game, you know, running away and screaming constantly. So maybe... Um, Leslie, through being um, exposed to the STEM system for a very long time, he changed, but that, you know, initially he was just a normal guy, a normal kid. Interesting. Okay, Hitman. Let's continue forward. I believe I recognize this, or maybe I don't. Oh, God bless. God bless. Joseph, you're all right. You too, thank God. Any sign of Sebastian? Nothing. Maybe we can go back and look for him. No. I mean, <laughs> let's just get out of here first, then we can worry about Sebastian. No, no. Can we open this gate? I doubt you and I are strong enough. <laughs> Joseph, watch yourself. I'll be fine. Quick, look around, see if there's another way out. Uh, hopefully Sebastian makes an entrance and saves us. I remember this sequence. Or maybe there is no action sequence. We don't have much time. Look around for some way out of here. Or, or maybe there is no sequence, no action sequence this time. I do love how the game, you know, reconnects us with Joseph and we get to play this scenario, you know. I don't remember this, whether this door was here initially. It has to be said, also, don't leave Joseph and please definitely don't shoot him. Oh! Kitty! Oh, amazing, a proper save, let's go. All right. I do love it. Two hours and 57 minutes. Amazing. Okay, I think with this proper save um, coming our way, this will mark the, the end of the episode. Um, a very cool episode. A very cool episode. I'm, um, you know... Stopping um, the the episode over here because it feels like, um, you know, every single chapter in the assignment, uh, you know, the perfect length for it might be like, um, you know, two episodes. So now we are in episode three of the assignment experience and it seems that there is still a, a lot to do in chapter two. So if the game is throwing like a proper save uh, my way, I think it indicates that this is a good stopping point, a good breather. And we've seen the face of our savior Sebastian, not Sebastian, <laughs> I misspoke, our savior Joseph, the man, the myth, the legend, the guy who absolutely fucks in all freaking terms right he's great with an axe he's great with like a like a pistol i don't know why we're even worried you know back there uh he, he would take care of all of those zombies if you guys remember the the sequences in which we play sebastian he was absolutely very useful and very amazing okay what can I say about this uh, this episode? The game definitely picks up. Um, I flamed the game a little bit. Sorry for the boss fight against the nurse lady uh, at the end of the the very last episode. But this one was truly awesome. I have to say, we we the game picked up uh, itself by its bootstraps and delivered an amazing experience. Um, uh, an awesome action sequence at the beginning. It finally let us interact with the zombies, even if, uh, you know, mm, in a limited uh, 
amount and in a limited way, right? We have to find the hatchet this time, but and then we can sneak kill an enemy. But it's yeah, I I, I welcome it with open arms after the entirety of chapter one just being uh, sneaking around. So that's awesome. Also, we are back to killing um, zombies and uh, infected or however you want to call it uh, them um, with the environment, with the traps, which is an awesome callback to everything that is happening in the base game. But I believe especially in the early stages of the, the base game, yeah, I remember killing zombies a lot with the environment at the beginning of the uh the evil within playthrough all in all an awesome episode um and i believe this will be the the stopping point um thank you very much for watching guys like comment and subscribe uh but do it only if you feel like it it is always greatly appreciated though because it helps the channel um a great deal and uh, speaking of the channel also check it out there are other blind playthroughs in there that may pique your interest for the very last time thank you very much for embarking on this journey with me i am very glad that i uh, i am back you know to playing the evil within after such a long break um and what can i say i'm having great fun um for the very last time because i'm rambling at this point thank you very much for watching and bye bye stay safe and take care bye bye